Hey there. It's time to get back to work. I've had a break from reading your work, but I hope to soon get back to it. Looking forward to seeing your revisions. Now here I am in my office at Carson Newman. It's just as chaotic as the shed office, as you can see. We're going to go through and look through the E360 stuff together and the calendar. Um, so here we go. Let's see. Just a second. All right, we're going to share the screen. Yes, share the screen. All right, here we go. Don't forget to do the discussion board. A few people have done that, seven people. Okay, now here is a uh, discussion form called help. I'm a dissertation student. This is not the best way. This is a good way to talk to each other, I guess, but if you want me to answer a question, email it. If it is a question that affects everyone, I will copy and paste it to this discussion board. Okay? Um, or if you know it's a question that affects everyone, post it here and then email me that you have posted it here. I do not pay attention. I don't get alerts to the discussion board posts, um, email. That's how you get my attention. Okay. So let's look at the Dropbox. All right. This um, is the candidate request for dissertation committee. I've told a few of you about this already. Um, if I haven't told you about this, you need to email me about getting a third committee member. You're gonna have me as your chair, you're gonna have Dr. Taylor as your methodologist, and then you're gonna have a third person. Um, if you have a third person in mind, we can talk. Uh, otherwise, I'll make a recommendation for you, okay? The APA certificate, as you can see, six people have turned this in, and it is just uh, something that you've already done, okay? Um, I can tell from your writing if you thought that the APA certificate was just busy work, um, and uh, it's not busy work. Um, so you need to revisit it and probably redo it it would actually probably save you some time. Um, and then we've got a city certificate, which you have to have before your IRB goes through. Um, some of you should really go ahead and do this. Others, uh, there are maybe a few of you that can wait, but just go ahead and get it done. This right here, the rough draft proposal, this is just what we did this summer. You just submit it here. Okay, submit it again. All right, one thing you should notice is that um, none of these things are worth any points. Okay, none of these things are worth any points because you're a dissertation student now. And there's no more points, there's only progress. Okay, if you require some kind of the external motivation of a grade, this is going to be a problem. Your grade for this is uh, uh, hopefully at the end of the semester a P, which means pass. Um, you might have a PMJ, which is pass with major revision, or a PMN, which is pass with minor revision. Um, those are the three options. Uh, of course, if you make no progress, you will receive an F. So, um, but I don't expect that from anyone. Now, we're going to look at the calendar together because the calendar, just like you don't get a grade, the calendar is just full of a bunch of suggestions, okay? Some of you have already talked. I want you to be defending 
like kind of at the beginning of October, maybe even the end of September, a few of you did really well this summer. Okay, the first day to look at these things have already passed. Your intro discussion board was already due. APA, which was completed previously, is already due. You need to get that in. Uh, the rough draft proposal should be very easy to. There's no reason you can't just go ahead and put that in. But it is due at midnight tonight, the 28th of August. All right, now this one right here, the request for dissertation, uh, some people are done. Um, and you'll be able to have that form and post it there. Others of you uh, don't have a suggestion for me. You need to email me and get a suggestion. Um, or, like I said, if you have a suggestion for a clear committee member, we can talk about that. Okay. So that's on the 30th. That's Friday. But if you don't meet this deadline, guess what? It doesn't matter. There's no penalty. That's the problem with the dissertation is there are no penalties for not meeting deadlines except the natural consequence that you're not making progress and you're not going to graduate in May. So uh, these deadlines are all just kind of like the bare minimum, like the, the deadlines that you see here, except for this one, um, are really just guidelines. Okay. Um, so yeah, if, if if you haven't done the city, uh, you should do it by the 9th of September, okay? And then you see here that chapter one is due on the 8th. We're gonna go back to having it split out. At the end of the summer, you put the three chapters together. Um, you need to do the revisions within the chapter, and the revisions from the summer must include track changes, they must include references. Some of you will be adding more references. Uh, so, uh, September 8th, again, this is, this is a guideline. If you get the revisions done for Chapter 1 tomorrow, email them, well, submit them on Blackboard, okay? And email me, say, hey, I submitted on Blackboard, my changes. Um, you should really move towards more frequent communication with me, text, little questions um, for some of you uh, you've already done that and that's great okay so this is suggestion here get your chapter one finished by the 8th of September um, we will be going back and forth with more revisions okay <clears throat> okay chapter two uh, notice that's kind of at the end of the month into September um, that's a suggestion. Uh, some of you did such a good job on chapter two that you could probably have it finished well before that. Um, and then this shows chapter three due on the 13th. I expect that four or five of you will already have defended by the 15th or 16th. Okay, it may be three, but you, many of you are very, are did a great job this summer. You're in really good shape. You're going to defend before the 15th of October, which, uh, if you remember, that's the kind of goal. The goal is the range between October 15th and November 15th. All right. Okay. There's Halloween. That's going to be fun with my two little kids. All right. My baby and my boy. All right. Uh, November 3rd, this says the final draft proposal is due and the PowerPoint is due. I need to look at a PowerPoint that you're going to put together for the proposal defense before the defense. So whenever you turn in your final draft, your proposal to me, then also send me a PowerPoint. Okay. All right. This is um, the absolute worst case scenario. Uh, this is a final day for proposal defense, December 2nd. Uh, if you've gone this far, that's okay. But if you go further, like if you're having to defend beyond this, uh, I don't, it's gonna be hard. It, it, just get done for this. Um, so, let's see, nothing else. One other thing to consider is the, um, 
process with chapters one and three. Chapters one and three must be approved by Dr. Taylor before you get to defend. So the order of operations is I approve chapter one and I'll say, hey, send this to Dr. Taylor. And then he'll approve it. And then same thing with chapter three, send it to me. I say, hey, it looks good. Send it to Dr. Taylor. He says, if you get a thumbs up from me and a thumbs up from Dr. Taylor, you're good. Some of you will also benefit greatly if you have time from sending it to um, your third committee member, okay? You need that feedback of a third person. Me and Dr. Taylor have very similar ways of looking at things. That's why we try to have a third committee member that looks at things quite differently, okay? You need many eyes on your dissertation before it is ready. Okay. That's all in this video. Have a good day. I teach my first undergraduate classes of the semester today. So I'm trying to get hyped up listening to some comedy and some rock and roll and uh, eating some uh, energy bar that has caffeine in it because I don't drink coffee. It's a shame I don't drink coffee, but I don't. All right. I look forward to hearing from you all soon. Bye-bye. Yeah.